In this video, we are going to be going over some of the more popular neighborhoods in Los Angeles where you're going to find some of the largest condo communities in the city. So if you're thinking about moving here and relocating to Los Angeles and you love the condo lifestyle, then this video is going to be for you because we're going to be taking you on a tour all the way from downtown Los Angeles to the coast, some of the finest beaches in Los Angeles, where you're going to learn the different types of lifestyles in these neighborhoods and see if it's a good fit for you. So stay tuned and here we go. Now in no particular order other than moving from east to west, we're going to go over these lists of neighborhoods. Now there you can find condos all throughout the city and the county of Los Angeles. They're scattered throughout, but these are some of the more densely or highly concentrated condo neighborhoods where it's a popular way, a popular lifestyle. And so number one neighborhood we're going to start off with is downtown Los Angeles. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you'll see that I've been open about how downtown Los Angeles is not necessarily the heart of the city. It's not the blood life of the city because LA is so spread out and so sprawled, but if you are looking for that downtown lifestyle, then downtown Los Angeles is gonna be for you, and if, especially if you're looking for condos. Now, there are various types of condo living from small buildings to large-scale high-rises, and in downtown Los Angeles, you're gonna find your high-rise condo living. Now, 10, 15 years ago, this was not really a popular place to be, a popular place to live at all, but as the city has reshifted some of their focus to Los Angeles and bringing more of an entertainment district to the downtown area, more high-rise and mid-rise condo buildings have gone up or buildings have been converted into luxury condo living. So what do you find and what to expect in downtown Los Angeles? Well, when living in downtown Los Angeles, you can pretty much just walk out your condo building door and get to wherever you need to be entertainment-wise. And there's a lot of different districts within Los Angeles, the downtown area. You've got the business district, the financial district. So if you are someone that works in downtown and you like that lifestyle, then this is the perfect place to live for you because you can literally just walk to your place of work and walk back and get all your entertainment right there in the city. Now the downtown Los Angeles area is made up of a number of different districts that focus on these particular items. For instance, you have the jewelry districts where you're gonna find a lot of your jewelers, your jewelry shops, your people that specialize in precious stones and gems all along these streets in the downtown area. You have the fashion district, the toy district, you have the flower district, you have the theater district where you're gonna find some old, old theaters from the 1920s, beautiful architecture, historical places. You've got Chinatown, you've got Little Tokyo, you've got Alvera Street, and you have the arts district. So all of these different districts are in the downtown area and you can take advantage of all of these just by living in the neighborhood. Now, what's adjacent to the LA life, the downtown lifestyle? Well, you've got USC and Expo Exposition Park, where you're, it's home to the Sa California Science Museum. You have the Natural History Museum there. You've got the Lucasfilm Museum there. You also have the LA Football Club. They have a stadium down there in, in that area. And you're also adjacent to Dodger Stadium, Elysian Park. You also have LA Live, which is actually the epicenter of the entertainment growth in the downtown area. And of course, that's adjacent to the Crypto Arena, where you can get in a Lakers game or a Clippers game. So living in downtown Los Angeles, you can take advantage of all of these spots. So some of the more positive reasons of why you would like living in downtown Los Angeles is especially if you work in downtown LA because you can live, work, and play right in your own neighborhood. You don't have to deal with all the traffic getting in and out of downtown Los Angeles because there are some cons of living in downtown LA. There is a large homeless population, a place called Skid Row, but in all of downtown LA, you're gonna come across that. So you may be living in this luxury building, you walk downstairs go to some fine dining or go to your favorite entertainment spot your bar your pub whatever it is and you're gonna be walking by a large homeless population now they are working on cleaning this up I don't have the answers to it neither does the city at this point but you uh, can't expect that also you are not going to be living necessarily that beach lifestyle because it is going to take you about 40 minutes or so 45 minutes maybe an even an hour to get to the, the coast to the beach so if that's what you're looking for, then the downtown area may not be the right fit for you. You're gonna to have to be someone that doesn't necessarily need a lot of sunshine, a lot of, a lot of natural light, because these high rises in downtown do block that out. So if none of that bothers you, then downtown is the right place for you. Plus, it does have a flyway access to Los Angeles International Airport. So if you are living that jet setting lifestyle, whether it's for work or pleasure, you can easily hop on that and um, it'll take you right to LAX no problem. As a reminder, I'm Dave Fine with the Real Estate Dads, a licensed real estate agent right here in Los Angeles. If you're thinking about moving to or relocating to Los Angeles, make sure you hit my team up at the contact information below. Also, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, comment below. We love to hear from our viewers. All right, next, the next neighborhood on the list is going to be on the Wilshire Corridor. Now, specifically in the areas near Westwood, which is by UCLA, we we're talking about a large condo concentration, especially luxury condos 
uh, on Wilshire Boulevard, basically between Westwood Boulevard and Santa Monica Boulevard, which is adjacent to Beverly Hills. Now, what makes this area so popular? Well, it's kind of right in the center of downtown Los Angeles and the beach lifestyle. So you kind of get the best of both worlds if that's what you want to take advantage of. Now, living in Westwood has its own benefits as well, or living close to it, because you have Westwood Village, which is home to a lot of great restaurants, great shopping, and of course at home to UCLA. So if you're someone that is involved with that campus, then this would be a great spot for you, especially their medical facilities. There are a lot of doctors that work at UCLA Medical Center that live in these condos along Wilshire Boulevard. What I also like about this area being close to Westwood is it is very walkable. So again, you can go right outside of your condo building and basically walk to Westwood and take advantage of the village and the shopping, the entertainment, movies, everything there for you. Uh, some great theaters, by the way, some historical theaters, Fox Theater, the Bruin, really popular in Westwood, kind of the old school theater experience, uh, if that's something that you enjoy. Uh, my family actually owned a business in Westwood for so many years, uh, a, a dry cleaning business, no longer there anymore, just closed up a couple years ago, but I'm very familiar with it, very popular, I hung out there a ton, and so if you if you like that UCLA campus college atmosphere, um, small kind of shopping district, very walkable, then this corridor on Wilshire Boulevard where these condos are would be a great fit. Plus, again, you're just adjacent to Beverly Hills. So if you want that super high-end shopping experience or super high-end um, lifestyle, but don't necessarily want to pay the Beverly Hills prices, then this is a great kind of happy medium for you. Plus, you're just about maybe 15, 20 minutes away from the ocean in Santa Monica, so you're really close to that as well. You do have easy access to a freeway system, the 405 freeway running north and south, so if you need to get to the San Fernando Valley from this area, it's easy, or if you need to go south into LAX, the airport, easy to do from this area. Now, a, most, a vast majority of these buildings, uh, these condo buildings along Wilshire Boulevard are, are going to be high-end, super luxury, which means that they're gonna have super high HOAs. Now you do get quite a bit of amenities for it, a lot of valet services and uh, gyms and pools, what's not in these buildings, uh, but just be prepared for really high uh, HOA fees. We're talking upwards of around $1,000 a month in some cases, so be prepared for that. But again, with the location uh, uh, being adjacent to Westwood and Beverly Hills and the type of building that you're getting, people find that the HOA fee worth it. Now, if you're looking for specifics on pricing of condos, HOA fees, make sure you reach out to my team and we'll be happy to get you that information. Now, moving west a little bit more and actually just adjacent to the Westwood area, just west and on the other side of the 405 freeway, you have Brentwood. Now, Brentwood has a high, high concentration of condos along Wilshire Boulevard, in between Wilshire Boulevard and San Vicente Boulevard. And again, so if you're looking for something that's a little bit closer to the ocean, but not paying Santa Monica condo prices, then uh, Brentwood would be a, a good fit for you. And especially if you're okay with being a little bit further away from downtown, if you don't need to go to downtown for work or it's just not your type of entertainment spot, then the more west you can go and not worry about traffic getting to the downtown area. So this puts you in between Santa Monica and Westwood. Now we talked about Westwood and what all it has to offer. Let's talk about Brentwood itself and what you expect to living there. So. Uh, in Brentwood, you've got a much, uh, you've got a very dense condo neighborhood, except you won't really find the high rise or mid rise buildings like you will in downtown and even along the Wilshire Boulevard corridor that we talked about earlier. These are going to be five, six story buildings, sometimes smaller, and uh, but it's very dense. So parking in these neighborhoods can be really rough. That is a, a kind of a down or a con of the Brentwood area. You do get parking for most part with uh, with your condo that you purchase, but if you're looking to entertain or have family or friends over, it's tough to find parking, just giving you a heads up. Now, it does have a great entertainment, shopping, and eating district along San Vicente Boulevard, a little bit more high-end. They have some casual eats, but uh, you're gonna find celebrities and uh, kind of high-wealth people shopping along San Vicente Boulevard and living in around that area. However, it is a really nice street, little shopping district. Again, it's very walkable. It's about four blocks long along San Vicente Boulevard. And uh, they also have something called the Farmer's Market there, which is uh, very popular in the area. They have a great walking or running trail along San Vicente Boulevard, kind of in the median. It's right, right in the middle of the street that you can uh, walk or jog, uh, run all the way from there to 
to uh, Santa Monica Beach. It's very popular, especially after work or on the weekends, you're gonna see a lot of people uh, taking that path to and from the beach. Your other main kind of shopping and entertainment spots and your eating will be along Westwood Boulevard. So as I mentioned, most of these condos are gonna be between Westwood Boulevard and San Vicente. San Vicente being a little bit more high-end, Westwood being a little bit more casual uh, but you, and, and a little bit more business-centric. So you may uh, find your place of work along Wilshire Boulevard in the Brentwood area or in Santa Monica. Again, if you're not looking to pay those super high prices of living in Beverly Hills or living in Westwood, or I'm sorry, living in Beverly Hills or living in Santa Monica, then Brentwood would be kind of that happy medium for you. Like Westwood, Brentwood is adjacent to the 405 freeway to go north and south in, in Los Angeles along the west side. If you are needing to go to the San Fernando Valley for any reason, you just head up north along Sepulveda Boulevard or 405 freeway, or if you need to head south into the South Bay area or the Los Angeles International Airport, LAX, then it's a pretty simple drive. I won't say it's quick because you will hit some of the biggest traffic spots in all of Los Angeles, probably in all of America along that 405 freeway. Uh, it could take you upwards of about 45 minutes really to go like, you know, seven miles. So uh, just keep that in mind. You are close geographically, but traffic wise, it could be uh, burdensome. This brings us to our third neighborhood. It's actually, it's its own city. And that is Santa Monica. That's all the way west along to the coast. This is adjacent to Brentwood. If you've seen my other videos, you'll see that Santa Monica is actually ranked number one neighborhood in all of Los Angeles uh, for good reason. And we'll discuss that now. So condo living in Santa Monica, you will find it close to the ocean, but you also find it around Pico Boulevard to the south and along Wilshire Boulevard to the north and kind of in between. So what to expect when living in Santa Monica? Well, yes, this is what you see in the movies and shows when they are talking about the Los Angeles beaches. Most of the time they are filming in Santa Monica, sometimes Venice, but mainly they're showing you Santa Monica. It is home to the Santa Monica Pier, loads of entertainment there, great for family, great for bringing in uh, friends and family from out of town. and. As I mentioned, if you have a family, it, it'll take up your whole day because they have arcade games, a roller coaster, Ferris wheel, carousel. They have entertainers there. They have uh, performances there, restaurants, people fish off of there. I don't know if I recommend that, but people do. But just general people watching, great seafood restaurant called The Lobster right at the beginning of the pier. So if you're into high-end seafood, that is your place to be. You've, so you have Santa Monica Pier. You also, of course, have the beaches, like large expanse of beaches, volleyball courts, great surf, some of the best in Los Angeles. You have a bike path that will take you up and down the coast. It'll take you all the way down to Redondo Beach in the South Bay. And so you will live that quintessential beach lifestyle in Los Angeles when you are living in Santa Monica. And if you are into the condo lifestyle, then there are some opportunities here because the condos here are definitely way more affordable than the single family homes in Santa Monica. Uh, big, big price difference. Now the HOAs will vary the dues. Uh, however, if you do wanna live in Santa Monica, but you just can't get into that single family house price range, then the condo uh, will be just great for you, especially if you want that beach lifestyle. You're also really close to some great hiking trails along the Santa Monica mountain range. Uh, it's not quite in Santa Monica, but adjacent, you'll have to go through the Pacific Palisades uh, one of the more popular trails is the Temescal Canyon, easy light trail, takes you up to the Backbone Trail, which runs around, along the ridge of the Santa Monica Mountains. Uh, very popular on the weekends or people doing early morning runs or after work runs or hikes. Very scenic because when you get high enough, you can see expansive, beautiful ocean views. Sunsets are unmatched in my opinion. I love being at the top of the uh, top of the hill, the top of the mountain, watching the sunset. I've been there when the sun rises too, which is also uh, pretty breathtaking. Someone if you like to, if you're an early riser, highly recommend that as well. PCH, great driving scenes, you know, you've seen that in movies and, uh, and shows. And it's weird, it does just call to you. You wanna be on the road, on the Pacific Coast Highway. It's a beautiful drive, it makes you feel free. You see the sun uh, setting in the west. You see the ocean, expansive ocean, lots of people on the beach. Just kinda gives you that warm and happy feeling. Some of the best weather you're gonna experience in Los Angeles is gonna be in Santa Monica, whereas if you're downtown, weather's gonna be a bit warmer. Not quite as hot as the San Fernando Valley, but pretty warm uh, during the summer. Uh, and then as you move west, of course, it gets cooler getting into Santa Monica, just some of the best weather. Temperatures are in the 70s for the most part, and uh, it's really unmatched. Now, lots of entertainment, as I mentioned, besides the beach and the pier, you also have Third Street Promenade, which is a very big shopping district. It runs about three blocks around along Third Street, which is about three blocks in from the ocean. And this is where you're gonna find uh, dining, movie theaters, 
uh, shopping, a lot of street performers, people doing comedy acts, singing, playing instruments, uh, doing acrobatic acts. You have some great artists there, really cool vendors along that street, and you can spend the whole day there as well with family, friends, and or just by yourself doing a little shopping and, and dining. You also have Montana Boulevard. Now, this is a more higher end shopping area where you're gonna find some of your entertainment. This is uh, where just north of Montana, you're gonna find some of the most expensive real estate in Los Angeles, uh, especially in Santa Monica, where the homes are range around $4 million. You're not gonna find condos there, but uh, south, uh, south of Montana, you'll find more condos and you'll still have access there. May not necessarily be able to walk to that uh, district, but easily get there by car or by bike. Also, if you do have a family and schools are important to you, then Santa Monica does have some of the best schools in Los Angeles. So again, if you like the condo lifestyle and you have a family, then just be just know that you are gonna have some great schools. Check it out on greatschools.org for their scores. You can ask around, anybody will tell you that Santa Monica has its own school district that's not part of Los Angeles, so it makes it a lot more manageable. And uh, it has its own services too, so the city, its own fire, own police, its own city government. So a lot more manageable and people tend to like that more because, um, well, you get better services to be honest. So Santa Monica, check it out, condo lifestyle, beach lifestyle, it's a great combination. Now the next neighborhood, fourth on the list, staying along the coast, going a little bit south is gonna be the Marina Del Rey. Now the Marina Del Rey does have your coastal living, just may not be quite the beach lifestyle that you're looking for. If you want beach lifestyle, it's gonna be Santa Monica for condos. In general, you're gonna be Santa Monica and Venice, but uh, if you just want that ocean, kind of the boat lifestyle, the marina lifestyle, then the Marina Del Rey is gonna be for you. And there are a lot of great condo options here that are close to the water. Now, if you really like the condo lifestyle and you wanna be close to the ocean, Marina Del Rey does have some great options. In fact, most of the units and places to live in the marina are made up of condos and townhomes. Some of the more popular ones are gonna be Marina Point. This is gonna be some of your luxury living uh, where you have super high-end facilities, super high-end amenities. Right along the coast, you've got some great ocean views, great marina views. It's along Lincoln Boulevard, close to your shopping center, shopping district in the Marina Del Rey along Glencoe and Maxella, where you're gonna find your entertainment spots, your movie theaters, dining, restaurants from casual eats to higher-end foods. And uh, do you're gonna need to expect though, in the Marina Point buildings, there's three towers. They all are really high HOA fees. You do get a lot of amenities with it, gyms, libraries, rec centers, pools, valet parking, uh, you name it, it's probably there at these, at these buildings. Uh, and it's, again, some, of the, some great, great views, especially if you're on the coastal side of those buildings. You also have the Marina City condos, which is another uh, set of towers. This is a little bit more old school, older developed condos, but again, very popular, large, large units. The floor plans of these can be quite massive. Don't quite have as many great views or view options. They don't go quite as high, but you do have some good options and with some good views of the Marina as well. Now, one thing you should know about Marina Point, uh, great amenities, or I'm sorry, Marina Center with great amenities, again, pools, tennis courts. They even have restaurants within, within these communities, it is on a land lease, this, this building, this facility specifically. And what a land lease means is you don't necessarily, you don't really own the land below these buildings. It's on a lease uh, from the county. And when this lease is up, technically they can take over the land and do whatever they want with it. Now it's many years out, but still just know that. And it is hard, harder to find financing when buying condos here. However, it is a really cool option. It is a fun lifestyle. You're close to walking trails. You're close to the marina itself. Now, let's talk about the lifestyle in the marina. I mentioned to, to you there is a main shopping center in the marina, uh, really close to Lincoln Boulevard, Glencoe, and Maxella. Again, this is where you're gonna find your amenities like your supermarkets, um, other types of businesses, including shopping, dining, entertainment. All of this is when, within walking distance of most of the condos that you're gonna find in Marina. Now, I mentioned these these uh, tower communities, but there is also a lot of kind of mid-rise and low-rise condo buildings that are also really close to these shopping districts. Now, Marina, again, as I mentioned, you don't necessarily have beach access, but you've got a lot of boating access, you've got access to the bike trails, and you have access to some really cool restaurants uh, along the ocean front, along the marina front, that again are right there within walking distance of all of these uh, condos in Marina Del Rey. And they are continuing to build. There's a lot of building and a lot of conversions going on in marina uh, condos and apartments. 
that uh, over the last five years, all new, all new builds. So if you are looking for something that's more newly built, condo lifestyle, and along the ocean, then the marine is something you definitely want to check out. Now, last on the list, certainly not least, number five is going to be Playa Vista. This is kind of the heart of Silicon Beach, which if you want any information about what the Silicon Beach lifestyle, what that encompasses, make sure you check out my other videos on this channel. So what to expect when living in Playa Vista? Well, vast majority of this, of the lifestyle and living in this community is going to be the condo lifestyle or the townhome lifestyle. They don't have many single family homes here, but again, you're looking for condos and this is the right place for you. This is almost like it's a self-sustaining neighborhood within the city of Los Angeles. Now, once you go there, you really feel like you never have to leave. It has everything you can imagine right in its own community, right at your doorstep. It is also home to about 50 different tech companies within the Playa Vista community. Now, where we are talking is at the corner of Jefferson Boulevard and Lincoln Boulevard, and just to the south is LMU University, and to the south of that would be Westchester and the Los Angeles International Airport. When you're living in Playa Vista, you feel like everybody knows your name. It's a tight-knit community because you see the same faces over and over again. Those that live there like to play there as well. There's lots of dining options, there's shopping op options, a Whole Foods market, restaurants, movie theaters. Again, you don't have to leave this community if you didn't want to and you'd be just fine because you can get everything you need plus all of your entertainment. They've got a lot of dog parks there and you talk about amenities, they've got multiple swimming pools, multiple gyms, rec rooms, rec centers, and not, not just each the building within this community, you actually have it for the community itself. So when you live in Playa Vista, you get to take advantage of all these community amenities. Plus, your building also has its own specialized amenities. It is a really unique place to live. You are really close to the ocean. You don't necessarily get to walk out and go to the beach, but you're close enough to where you can take a bike ride into the beach or a quick car drive. And as I mentioned, if you are in the tech industry and you wanna live in the Silicon Beach area and you like the condo lifestyle, Playa Vista is a special, special place. And it's something you may wanna take a look at on your list of places to live when living in Los Angeles. Because like downtown, this is a place where you can live, work and play all in the same neighborhood. So you're cutting down on your commute. You really build and establish your own, your tight knit community there. And a lot, it's very popular for people living or working in the tech industry like Facebook, Google, YouTube, uh, EA Sports, and so, so many more. This does all come at a pretty high price though. Not so much the purchase price of these condos and townhomes, which they are expensive. However, it's the fees. Now you will be paying an HOA fee dues for your building that you live in. You're gonna be paying a Playa Vista community fee as well. You're also gonna be paying something called Melarus tax if you live in the first phase of the Playa Vista community. This is an extra special assessment tax to pay for the infrastructure uh, that it took to build out this community because before it was just uh, marshland, wetlands, where there was no infrastructure, no electricity, no plumbing, uh, no street lights, no streets, nothing. They had to build it up from scratch. So if you live in the first phase, that's gonna be closer to Lincoln Boulevard. Uh, that is gonna, you're gonna be paying the Melarus. There's also an extra transfer tax when you sell your place. Uh, this is negotiable, but uh, it is an extra tax along with your city transfer tax and county transfer tax. Uh, this is negotiated depending on the type of market, whether the seller is going to pay for it, the buyer, or it's split. So keep that in mind that there are a bunch of extra fees and dues when living in this community. Again, if you want specifics, make sure you check out my Playa Vista videos in my, on my channel. So if you are looking for that condo lifestyle and you want to live in Los Angeles, these are some of the more popular areas to live in, more densely populated with condo lifestyle. Again, as I mentioned, there are condos spread throughout the entire city and throughout the entire county of Los Angeles. So you can find it anywhere. However, if you're looking for a concentration of people that have that similar desire to live in the condo lifestyle, then these are some very popular neighborhoods you may wanna consider. If you want more details about the price ranges for these neighborhoods, the, HOA, the average HOA dues for these neighborhoods, make sure you reach out to my team or myself at the contact information below. As a reminder, I am Dave Fine with the Real Estate Dads and Licensed Agent right here in Los Angeles. If you are thinking about moving to or relocating to Los Angeles or the surrounding neighborhoods, make sure you reach out to us, contact information below, and my team will get with you right away. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the videos that you like, comment below. We love to hear from people looking at our videos. If you have questions, you can ask them there as well, and we'll be happy to reply. Tap the bell to get notified for the next video coming up.